probably like two weeks because uh, like i said in one of my first videos i like it when my hair uh, starts to look old i like it when my twists start to look old because they look like um sorry for all this um yeah but they look like my uh micro locks or sister locks so yeah i'm, gonna show, I'm just gonna show y'all what i do when i have my mini twisting and how i go by uh re-moisturizing because as you can see they are very dry so i have a little spray bottle this is one of these infinity spray bottles i just got this from sally's and it has some warm water in it y'all i'm off i also have low low porosity here as well so if i do not moisturize my hair with water starting off and it's not warm then everything else after that is just gonna be for nothing because it's not gonna penetrate my hair shaft so um I like to get my hair nice and saturated and as you can see my hair is already shrunken up so I'm not I don't mind you know uh, my hair being shrunken I don't care at this point about uh, the elongation of uh, my twist and so I get my hair really saturated I get my hair really saturated and then I start with my other uh, layering my other products on my hair. At first y'all I didn't used to like this. Uh, this has grown on me. I really don't still don't use it that often um, but it's cool. It, it, it does what it needs to do to get my hair moisturized. As y'all can see, my hair is now laying down. It's not sticking up how it was before I added my added the water onto it. So you can feel it. It's nice and moisturized. But y'all, I wanna I wanna let y'all know something too that water in itself is not the moisture it's not the end all to be all. You have to layer your hair, especially when you're natural. You have to layer it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in and just squeezing the uh, water through my hair and make sure that my whole hair is saturated. Um, next, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding this Cantu um, coconut curling cream. And so I like to do the um, the LCO method. I'll add this and then I'll add my O, which is going to be blue magic grease yeah that'll be that's how i do um my lco uh layering mat it's got a little bit well, actually this is quite a lot and this this will be all that i use but you don't need much and especially when you're wearing twists like you don't want your hair to be way down too much but you want to make sure that it's moisturized because with twists, my hair tends to hold the moisture better, so I don't have to moisturize it as often if my hair was loose. Yeah, I just got I just got a little bit more. So I want to make sure these tips, the ends of my hair are well coated. Y'all, and that's the key to making sure that you retain your length is 
making sure that you baby the oldest part of your hair, which is your ends, because it dries out very quickly. And especially like once your hair gets to like your your um shoulder length, you definitely want to make sure that you keep your hair moisturized because your hair, if if you like to wear it down, it's going to rub on your shoulders and it's going to rub on the, that cotton. It's going to rub onto your hair and your hair is going to rub onto the cotton and it's going to dry it out. So, y'all, I'm just taking a little bit of, like I said, uh, Blue Magic. Yes, I use Blue Magic. I don't care what uh, everybody else has said. Don't use Grease. I like Grease. Okay? I stay in Michigan, and the winter time, my hair loves Grease. And so, guess what? I use Grease. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And with the grease, y'all, I like to actually rub all the way down my shaft. Not just my ends, but I like to make sure that I rub it all the way down my shaft. Because this also helps to um, seal in that moisture that you can put, you know, you know, spray your hair with water. And then this helps to seal it in. I make sure to get it all in the middle of my hair, too, as well. Because the middle of my hair is it's definitely uh, my problem. Spot in my hair, it dries very quickly so i want to make sure to get that all sealed in so at least it'll you know it'll keep it moisturized for a few days um probably longer than that because i tend to keep my hair up into some type of style when i do have twists in my head um only time you'll really see it out is if like i'm taking pictures or you know, it's a special occasion or something like that, then I'll wear it down. But for the most part, I keep my hair up um, in the style so that my hair is still protected. Because like I said, y'all, we, we own a, a journey. And so, yes, yeah, some of these styles are cute when you have your hair down. What y'all think about that? Y'all think that's cute? That's cute. Yeah, but anyway, let me let me stop getting off, track, uh, off topic. But yeah. You want to make sure that you are protecting your ends. That is the most critical part of growing, of growing your hair out is taking care of those ends. Like, yes, water and moisturizing it and drinking water and eating right is definitely something that you should do. You want to make sure that you you, you baby your ends. I'll show y'all. I just got a little shade of hair too. Just a little bit. Um... And so my hair still does shed with these twists in it as well. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna do two braids. And that's how I, I mean, I'll wear this style like this for a week. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit more uh, water in the center of my head because like I told y'all, center of my head hair the center of my head is my problem area so i like to make sure that that is nice and moisturized because y'all it will bring up especially when i have my hair braided in two braids like this it will um break off in the center and then you have i have frizz all in the center of my head and i'll be thinking it's just frizz but it's no, it's my hair breaking off. And so, y'all, that's another thing. How to maintain it. You, you don't want to put too much tension on your hair either. Like, as y'all can see, I'm braiding my hair. Very likely the braids is kind of big. Which, I like my braids like that. But I don't need to have my hair, like, tight and, and, and looking clean. Because that's not what I'm trying to, that's not what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to make sure that my hair, the length of my hair, uh, it's maintained and I can get to my goal. And you won't be able to get to your goal if your hair is constantly breaking off, y'all. So you gotta be aware of that. You gotta be aware of how long your hair is, what you're doing to maintain it, and you have to maintain it. Don't be thinking that you didn't moisturize your hair one time for the month and, and that's gonna be it. No, please don't do that. I wash my hair. Even with these twists in my hair, I still wash it. Um, and what I do is, I, I wash it the same way I would wash it if my hair was loose. So, 
I just don't, when I wash it, I don't go in and just scrub it. I just do this as I'm washing it and just let the hair, just let the soap, the shampoo just uh, run down the full shaft of my, my uh, twist. And yeah, like my, my, um, Natural hair journey is it, simple. It used to be difficult. I used to do a thousand one different steps, but I've learned that simple is the best way to like maintain your hair. It's less troublesome. Like people put too much emphasis, especially in the natural community, they put too much emphasis on all these, you know, routines and and things like that. So you just gotta know your hair. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit more on that because it's dry to me. If your hair dry and it don't feel right, I don't care what somebody told y'all. Moisturize your hair, please. You know what your hair is supposed to feel like. You know when it's dry. You know if you to put a product on your hair and they talking about some uh, uh, a quarter or a dime size. Please. Dime size ain't never did nothing for me. <laughs> a dime size ain't nothing. It ain't never did anything for my hair. So, y'all take these tutorials and what um, these natural gurus have to say with a grain of salt, okay? Because they're going to tell you what works for their hair, not what works for your hair. You you take a little bit of somebody else's routine and you tweak it as you need to for your hair. Don't go and just do it step by step and your hair breaking off and you still doing it because they saying, oh, well, you got to give it a month. No, please don't give it a month. Please, y'all. If it do not work, go with something else. Okay, so yeah, go ahead, finish up this braid, cause y'all know I I talk you, you know I talk your ears off. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this will be how I maintain my hair, and this will be the style that I wear um for the next week. Not sure, yeah I am. I'm I'm lying, I am, cause I need to maintain my hair. I'm supposed to maintain, it. so I'll um. Come back in in a week and show y'all, you know, what I do then. Cause I I may I may um wash it. Cause y'all before I take my twist out too, uh, I I make sure to wash my hair because that's another thing that that will break your hair off as well as you know when you um when you have braids in your hair for so long or a twist. You start to get lint in it. Even if you don't even see it, like you get accumulation of lint and dirt and stuff like that. So once you take your hair down, the base of your hair especially could be like it has that lint and dirt up and it ended up it'll pull your hair out. So what I do is I uh I wash my hair prior to so that one, my hair is clean and I don't have to worry about my hair breaking off from it being the dirt and shed hair compacted up in there really like that. So I can then take my hair down. It's already stretched out. I can take my hair down and then I can go into another style without having to even wash it. It's easier for me to wash my hair when it's already in some type of twist. So it just makes sense for me to just go ahead and wash it. So I don't have to wash it and dry it after I take it down. Because if I have, when I have um, protective styles in my hair for a long period of time, my hair just don't know how to act. It just, it just. It goes haywire and it's all over the place. I can't uh, do nothing with it because it's not used to being out. So to prevent that, I just wash it prior to. Hair is nice and clean. And then the following um, following week, I may uh, come back up with a, a deep conditioner when I wash my hair. But other than that, it's, it's easier for me to maintain it that way to just wash it wash in a twist and then just take it down and go right into another another style because my hair is already moisturized and everything it just it just makes sense for me so yeah so y'all there you have it i was just doing the thumbnail y'all uh -uh. yeah this is my style for the next week and so thank you for watching y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe and give me some input on what y'all would like to see too thank you for watching my video
Bye.